This is Nathan Orr here reporting for Sports Bite. I'm here at the Wraith Promotion Show at Temple Park. Here is the new English Super Flyweight Champion Anthony Nelson. Anthony, can you stop your emotions in winning the English Super Flyweight title? Uh, I'm over the moon, obviously. Uh, words can't describe the way I'm feeling at the minute. I don't think it's actually kicked in, but obviously it felt good for to lift that belt above my head. Um, it's just amazing, you know, I thought I'd win it here in front of my home fans. Um, I kind of thanked them enough for the support because the atmosphere was electric and they honestly was, the hairs were sticking up on the back of my neck and it was absolutely amazing. So I'd like to thank all the fans, the support was excellent, you know. And after 10 fights, it was your first time fighting in the South Shields. Are you going to come back here again? I'd love to come back here again. Um, I've, had, I've had a couple of fights as an amateur here and now, so it's took me back to my old days. Um, it's always a good venue here, and the crowd always get behind your, your local lads, you know, so uh, showing it there tonight, it was actually fantastic. Did you expect the atmosphere to be as good as it was? I knew it would be, I knew it would be. Um, I never knew it would have been quite as loud and quite... Like, it, was, it was all around, you know, it was just coming from everywhere. It was, it was amazing. Every, every single person in there must have been shocked, I think, because it was uh, excellent, you know, it was movement. And in the fight against Terry Broadband, it was an absolute all action affair. Um, you did have your tough moments, especially in the. I did, I knew, I knew it would have been a tough fight. Terry's a tough lad. Um, he's a tough fighter. Uh, I knew he would have been coming forward. I knew he wouldn't have took a backward step. Um, he's a little bit like yourself, you know. It was a good 50-50 even fight, which I knew it would be, I knew it was going to be a hard fight. Uh, I knew it was never going to be over, um, and the fight could have went either way. I thought, it was a, I thought it was a close fight, but I did think I had won it, um, and obviously the judges have seen the same thing. And um, to your trainer, um, Mal Gates, and now this is his, his third fighter he's had on the show, yeah. what sort of credit do you give to himself, what part does he have to play in this? Well, if it wasn't for Mal, I wouldn't be sitting here now, you know. Um, Mal's obviously managed and trains me. He gets a fight, he's, he's managed to get the fight in South Shields for us. Um, so he's done an excellent job on that account. Um, but other, other than that, putting up with his bad jokes and stuff in the gym, he's quite a fun bloke as well, you know. He's, uh, he gets you in tip top shape, uh, he doesn't let you slack. Uh, he will whip you into shape, like there's no doubt about that. So I'd like to take my hat off of Mal and obviously take the opportunity to thank Mal Gates as well, thanks. And that was your first fight in 10 months. Did you feel any effects of the ring rust? Uh, to, be, to be honest, it was it was the first fight in 10 months, but it's not like I haven't been sitting on the couch for 10 months. I have been in and out of the gym, you know, obviously. Um, it's just been unfortunate circumstances. Um, I've never been able to get in the ring. Obviously, I've had a couple of tragedies this year. I uh, lost my close friend and I also lost my cousin the other month, Dale Lincoln, uh, which was the show was dedicated to him tonight. So I've had a tough year this year, um, but that's all behind me now and it's time to move forward and time to move on. And your pl plans for next now that you're the English Super Flyweight Champion? The first thing the English Super Flyweight Champion is going to do is go home and ring a takeaway because I'm absolutely stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I'll leave that down to Mal and see what he's got planned. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you for your, um, for your time here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.